Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going thrifting again. I know that you guys are really enjoying these videos and that makes me so happy because I am loving making them for you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for all of the support. A big welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. It means the world. So I've actually just finished editing the video that you were about to watch, but I wanted to pop in here and just let you guys know that in this video, I do only manage to go to two charity shops. Um, but really good charge shops and I get a lot of great stuff so stay tuned to the end to see the haul of what I pick up but I'm definitely going to be going back to Manchester as they have so many more charity shops and I just feel like I wasn't able to show you the real scale of the charity shops in Manchester so with that in mind I'm going to be going back next week and I will be filming a lot more I'm planning on doing about four charity shops in one day so yeah if you want to see that video then make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe so that you get notified when that video comes up but for today sit back relax and enjoy me shopping in Manchester it was so great to get out to Manchester um, I am based in Liverpool in case you didn't know so Manchester for me is like a 40 minute train journey away and it was just so great to be in another city um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for clicking on it it means the world and i will see you guys very soon bye from Liverpool to Manchester um, but I actually haven't been into Manchester in well over a year now so very excited to be back um, um, and yeah we're just going to have a nose round see what we can find and hopefully pick up some bargains as usual um, I haven't done an outfit of the day today because I'm actually just wearing like what I usually wear in these videos with like a stripy top underneath I have a jacket and then some jeans. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys up when we're in the first shop. Right guys, up first we have this shop which is actually called Thrift Shop, which is a great name, very direct, very to the point, but me and Mike head into this shop every time we're in Manchester and it's one you have to check out. They have so many incredible, well-priced items, so I highly recommend giving it a visit if you go to Manchester. But up first, I started looking at this denim jacket, Mike really liked it and I did like the shape of it, however I felt like I just owned too many jackets at the moment, but it it was a really nice kind of slouchy style which was really nice to wear and super lightweight as well often denim is quite heavy so it was a nice change to have and then mike pulled out this incredible shirt and i actually ended up getting this this shirt was so lovely um it's proper like heavy and it's got a really rich feel to it like it feels like really good quality of course, looking at the flannel shirt, I feel like flannel shirts are a thing of the past now. Um, they are something that me and Mike used to thrift, but we just don't anymore. Mike was even saying how he was just over them completely. And yeah, we didn't get any. So many amazing more shirts. There are definitely lots of options in here for men as well. Um, one side of the shop is men's and the other side is women's. And they just have so many incredible, like unique pieces, which is what I love about it. So I'm longing to go back already and have a route through again. So I thought that this little cardigan was actually really cute. Um, 
but I'm not the biggest like wearer of cardigans. I don't know, they just don't sit greatly on my shoulders or my body type, um, so I decided against it. And then Mike pulled out this adorable little Disney top, which I'm just loving. Um, and I do end up getting this and I love it. It's cropped, it's just fabulous. And then I started looking at all the other t-shirts as well. Um, just to see which ones I could find. I couldn't really see any of the ones that I really liked. So then I had a look at the jeans on this side. I feel like jeans are so hard to thrift, especially if you can't try them on, which in this shop you couldn't. Um, but sometimes you can eye them up, but I just didn't end up getting any. At this point, I had so much stuff in my hands that I was like, I had to take it off Mike because he was carrying it around for me. Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, I'll hold it now. <laughs> They had a few little random rails at the back which didn't seem very organised but I just thought oh I'll have a route through and as I always do something fell off the hanger um, <laughs> but we picked it back up don't worry um, but yeah there was some like really like unique little pieces at the back here um, but I'm trying to think long and hard when I pick up an item will I wear it and unfortunately a lot of these items I just thought that I won't wear them. So I should probably put in here that the way that this shop works is that each item has a colour tag on the hanger so it might be green or purple and then there are signs throughout the whole shop and if your item has a purple tag then you look at the colour purple on the sign and see what the price is next to it. The next item that I picked up from this shop was this incredible blue suede jacket. Stay tuned to the end to see me try this on, but guys, I am so happy with this. It was definitely my favorite find of the day and I can't wait for you guys to see what it looks like on. I got to the skirt section and I was just having a really good route through here um, because I'm really in the market for like a new patterned skirt.
So on the second rack of skirts, I actually end up finding one that I like. And it is this mustard long maxi skirt, which I show you at the end. So yeah, stay tuned to see how that looks. So this is the blue jacket tried on and yeah, I was just loving it. Now onto the second shop of the day and this was Oxfam. Oxfam, as you know, is my favorite charity shop. So I was very excited to get in the Manchester one as I've not been inside it in such a long time. So I began in this shop by looking at the tops and seeing if I could find any lovely summer blouses. And everything in this Oxfam was colour coordinated, which was great. It's not necessarily the same in every Oxfam shop, but this one was colour coordinated, which was super handy. So from the blue section I end up picking up this really nice basic blue top which you can see me try on at the end of the video but it was super cheap and in my opinion a really great find. So me and Mike have a vinyl player in our flat and we are definitely in need of a few more vinyls. So Mike was thoroughly invested in searching through these. I had a little look through, but I couldn't really see any albums or singles that kind of grabbed my attention. I do love a little bit of folk music, um, but I think I need to do a little bit more research because a lot of these were probably artists that I don't know. Um, Mike is definitely more in tune with his music than me. So he was having a great time looking through these and I don't think he got any in the end, but definitely lots of potential ones in the shop. So if you're in the market for vinyls, I definitely recommend hitting up the Oxfam in Manchester because they have a really great selection. One little bit of the shop that I thought was really cute was this little um, kind of home home decor bit. Like they had really cute baskets and blankets and I definitely don't need any more home decor but I just thought that all of these were really cute. This top, I just couldn't make my mind up about it. I thought it was cute, and then I asked Mike's opinion, and Mike was like, no. He was like, <laughs> you don't need a top that says that across it. Um, but yeah, it was from Monkey, which is quite a good brand. Um, it's like a high street brand. But I decided to put it back because um, I was being sensible.
Okay, and then a bit random, we ended up going to a bar. Um, it was really nice and that kind of concluded our little shopping trip. Hi guys, welcome back to this video. So it is now haul time. So now it's time for me to share with you guys what I picked up in Manchester. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this video because honestly I feel like I got so many amazing bits in Manchester and it just felt like so amazing to go there. Obviously with the pandemic happening, um, I just hadn't done it. I like wasn't able to do it. So yeah, me and Meg decided to go and it was honestly just so much fun. We had the best day. Um, yeah, Manchester for charity shops, I would say is a little bit better than Liverpool. Um, I'd say they definitely have a lot, lot more of a selection. Um, so I'll definitely be going back and filming in there again. So I know that in this video, I did shop in like a vintage shop and that is not necessarily a charity shop. Um, I did go into other charity shops as well. But um, the first shop that I went that I went into was like a vintage shop, and I don't know where you guys stand with that, but I kind of class it as like a charity shop because everything is um, kind of vintage. And I mean, I don't know. I can't come online and tell you guys that it's secondhand because I don't know if it is. Um, I don't know where they get their stock from, um, but it definitely has that kind of like vintage feel to it. And it's also a lot cheaper than, you know, your um, fast fashion shops on the high street. So um, it is still a really great place to shop and um, I'm sure a lot less damage is done to the environment through them shops to what it is done through like the fast fashion brands and on that note i am gonna jump into the items that i picked up so let's get started okay so i'm gonna do this like a little bit of a random order um but the first thing that i picked up was this shirt which my boyfriend mike really loved and um he kind of convinced me to get it and now i definitely like it as well um but yeah it's this red kind of stripey shirt um, and this is like the best quality ever. It feels so thick um, and I just think it has like a really nice kind of 70s vibe to it. It's definitely, I feel like it's been pre-worn. It's just got like more of like a rustic feel to it, which I love. Um, and I just can imagine wearing this with like some really nice jeans, some good sandals. Um, it's one of those shirts that I would see in like a film. Um, like a 70s movie or something and I would be like I need that in my wardrobe Um, so yeah this is really really cute the way that this shop worked was that each hanger kind of had a colour and then they had signs throughout the shop telling you which colour was what price so um, I think most of the things that I picked up were actually £9 each which was so cheap um, and this one was £9 as well yeah I just think £9 for this type of shirt like the quality of it is so great um it's got these little buttons as well at the sides which i thought was really cute and i just think it has like a really like just a rustic feel to it i wouldn't say vintage i'd say more like a rustic um old-fashioned feel it is quite thick so i think you can kind of get away with wearing it on its own and just like your bra underneath um but yeah i'm loving this I'm kind of liking it i think it's a little bit more fitted and I think that's nice. So yeah, love that. Okay, next up, the next thing that I picked up in that shop was this adorable little Mickey Mouse top. So me and my boyfriend Mike have booked our trip to Disneyland, Florida for 2022, which we're very excited about. Um, it is a while away and we have got a while to wait. Um, but I just saw this and I thought it would be really cute like on in Florida. It's like a cropped um, tea and yeah I think kind of styling um, like these Disney tops um, is quite difficult so I just thought that because it's cropped it might make it a little bit easier to style I could wear it with some high-waisted jeans and then my sandals when we go to the parks and I just think it would work really nice together um, and I think this is actually original Disney like it says it says Disney in the um, print inside and 
I just think it's really cute. It actually looks really nice on as well. I was surprised with how good it does look on. Um, and I think it's just one of them items. It's super lightweight and I'll definitely be getting a lot of wear out of it. Um, because it's just so cute and cropped. Okay, speaking of tops, the next item I have I got from the Oxfam. Um, so I kept seeing this type of vibe on Instagram and Pinterest. I'll put a photo up here. And I actually have a pair of jeans that are similar to these ones and I love that kind of dark blue shade. It's definitely my colour. Um, so I kept seeing like these photos online and I kept thinking I really need like a similar colour blue um, top to go with my jeans. And I went into the Oxfam and I saw this one and I just thought, yeah, like that could actually work like I know it's not the most like stylish piece um it's not the best piece out there in the world however I just think that it kind of gives me that um that same type of vibe that those pictures were creating so this was 3 dollars um, it's a great shade of blue and also it's short sleeved I'm definitely looking for more short sleeved pieces and the sleeves are actually like a different texture and um, material to the main top um, so I thought the contrast of them two was really nice together um, and they're a little bit puffy but not too much I think they sit really nicely and yeah I just thought it worked really well it definitely creates the same type of look that I want to make um, and I just think paired with like a really nice pair of jeans um, and then my hair done nicely I think it's a really nice kind of basic top um, which will work really well in my wardrobe um, so this is from m and I think a lot of stuff in these charity shops lately are all from m and um, I didn't actually look at the size oh it's a size 12 um, and yeah I'm loving it I think it's really nice and just a basic top that will work with everything that I currently own so perfect okay so next up something that I wasn't sure about but I thought it is kind of in the line of stuff that I do like to wear Um, I definitely have a little bit more of like a, a quirky style to some people my age Um, some people my age will probably be like I'm never wearing that but I just kind of like um, like old-fashioned stuff in a way Um, so I picked up this skirt and it is very long <laughs> so it's like a maxi skirt definitely and uh, i mean it doesn't actually touch does it touch my ankles i think it comes just before my ankles but it's so amazing i just love the color of it i just love this kind of mustard color with all of the blue i have going on in my wardrobe lately i just think they're like the perfect combination together and um, you can kind of tell the theme i'm going for i've got lots of red blue and now mustard and i just think the color scheme is perfect um so yeah this skirt i just saw it and i instantly just thought like of like i don't know like barefoot um with a little crop top and um like a straw hat i mean i don't know where i'm going or where where i'm gonna wear that ever but i just got those vibes from it and who doesn't love a skirt like this that has pockets this has pockets so it completely sold me on the pockets and they've actually been sewn so well like it's to the point where you can't even tell that there is a pocket on there like you have to dig and find it so yeah i just thought it was something really unique it's not something every day that i would pick up but i just thought it was really fun um i could even wear it to go shopping with a pair of trainers um and kind of do like the whole like oversized style big chunky trainers oversized skirt maybe an oversized top that might be a little bit too much but we'll see um but i just love the color of it i think it's a really nice color i think it goes well with everything else in my wardrobe and yeah i'm loving it it's a really unique piece and that's what i love finding so very very happy with this skirt i also realized i forgot to tell you guys the prices of everything but i'm pretty positive everything was nine pound apart from the skirt i think this was about 11 pound um but yeah everything else was nine pound in this shop okay next up the second to last piece that i picked up this was again from the first vintage shop that i went into and this one is so cool now if you like 70s style then you're going to absolutely adore this shirt so it looks like this which is kind of hard to show but yeah it's this amazing kind of 
stripey checkered shirt and it's long sleeve it's got again navy and red running throughout um and i just think it's the coolest print like it's so unique very very 70s i just would love to know who has wore this in the past it's actually got the most amazing collar as well when you put this on the collar kind of sits like a little bit further out and definitely kind of just gives me like 70s vibes all over um and i just think there's so many ways that you can actually style this you could tuck it into a skirt you could throw it over a dress or pair it with some basic denim jeans and you're onto a winner. Um, I just love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Um, I don't own anything like this. I think it's like really unique. Um, the print, nothing like anybody else is gonna have on, which is great. You know, if you're going the pub, you wanna wear something that's a little bit out there. I actually posted a photo of it on my Instagram the other day and lots of people commented on it. Okay guys, on to my final piece of this video. Next up is something that I just know I'm going to wear almost every day. I've owned this jacket now for three days and I've worn it every day, literally. Um, so I have a very fond like love for, like I keep going on about the colour blue. I have like a very fond... Um, love for kind of dark blue buttoned up jackets i don't know what it is i will insert a clip right now of one that i've had for years this one i've worn to death and i call this one my postman jacket i don't know where i got that word from but um i just love it i think it's the coolest thing ever so when i went into this vintage shop and i found this one you can imagine how happy i was so it's a little bit of a darker shade of blue um but this is like a really nice soft i think it's like suede um but again a button up jacket and it's got the incredible collar at the front and then it goes all the way down and this one is a little bit longer to the blue one that i just shared with you um but so incredible it's got four pockets so it's got a pocket up here and a pocket down here and the same on the other side and i just think it's so cool a good level of thickness it's not going to keep me too hot i think it's the perfect jacket for the uk like it still has that like warmth to it but still can keep me quite cool if it does get too hot if that makes sense um and i actually had it on the other day for a work job and somebody commented on it saying i love your suit because i had it on with a pair of denim jeans and i was like oh it's not a suit it's actually a, like separate pieces so i'm in love with this i just think it's the coolest thing ever and this was only nine pounds like nine pound for this is incredible i realize i'm not really doing a good job of showing it here but hopefully you will have seen it better in the try on clip so guys on that note hopefully you enjoyed this new thrifting video and um, if you did then definitely let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite and make sure to give the video and make sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out so much i just want to say a really quick thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you for joining me on this journey it honestly means the world i can't appreciate you guys enough thank you for sticking around thank you for interacting with my videos and um, it means the world and welcome and hopefully you stick around for the long haul once again thank you guys so much for watching i love you all lots and i will see you soon bye